version 1.1 of Honkai Star Rail has been really interesting to see because it feels like it's more than just an update. It feels like a breath of fresh air, especially if you come from Genshin Impact. It feels like a lot of the changes that they're putting into this are very intuitive and I'm looking forward to seeing what else they're going to add in future versions. Of course, Silver Wolf is the featured banner for the beginning of version 1.1, but what's really cool is that they're giving you a free light cone or weapon in this game for her. And this is something that we've seen in Genshin in the past as well, but for being the first free Force R event weapon, this one is actually really good for her. And some people have said that this almost gives the signature weapon a run for his money as well, especially because it's free to play. It's extremely good and it's just awesome that they went ahead and gave us an option for a new five star character this early in Honkai Star Rail's life. And I'm sure everyone's happy that we're getting a free multi. And I think that this is really crazy because we usually only get stuff like this on Genshin around anniversary times. So it's pretty incredible to think that we actually have gotten one for every version so far, of course, for the beginning of the game. But to think that we got one already again in this version as well is really nice. And I'm wondering if this is going to be a regular thing that they do aside from just around anniversary times. But one of the more low key changes that they made to this is by far the biggest. And one of the things that I don't think anybody was expecting to get, at least not this early on in the cycle. If you go over to the events now, you'll see that there's a little option down here at the bottom. And if you press that, you'll have access to past events. Now, of course, because we only have had one other version than this, we only have one event to speak of, but it's really cool to think that we can actually go back and you can play this event as much as you want. Of course, you won't get the rewards again, but if you're a new player and you missed out on it, or if you just want to go back and try the event, you can do so. And this gives the game so much more replayability because over time, the event list will just pile up so much to be able to go back and do these events. It kind of always felt weird in Genshin. The devs put so much time into these events and you have to either wait months for it to come back if it does or you never get to play it ever again and it just seems weird to me that you never have access to those things but with this even if you're a new player and you miss out on old ones or if you just want to go back and play it you have the option to do so and I think that that's an amazing quality of life feature and it's something that Genshin players have been asking for for a long time and it's crazy to think that Honkai went ahead and did it so early and one of my favorite part about Honkai Star Rail is that you're actually able to craft a guaranteed artifact or relic of your choice and that really is a game changer especially when the rng can really be rough at getting a main stat for a relic being able to craft whatever you want with the modeling resin is really nice and although it does take 10 relics to go ahead and make a new one in this game as compared to three in genshin the fact that you're able to craft a guaranteed one at all is really nice and although that might not be new with version 1.1, what is new is a new event that we're going to be getting at the beginning now, which will give you a self-modeling resin, which means you will have two chances at the very least to get a main stat relic in version 1.1 with the battle pass and then this one as well, which is really cool that they're going ahead and already giving you these options to get a really nice relic of your choosing. And I just hope that they're very generous with this in the future as well, because it makes the grind not as tedious even though you could still get shafted on the subsets. And while we're on the topic of relics, there is an event that's going to be coming out soon, which will allow you to get double planor ornaments in the simulated universe. Getting that set in particular is a lot less tedious because you don't even have to complete the full simulated universe world and you can get multiple per world. But the fact that we're getting an event this early as well, where you're going to be able to get double the amount of planor ornaments is just really nice. And I wonder if they're going to do that for other relics and things like like that in the future that would be really generous of them to allow you to get more relics than you're getting even now for the amount of trailblaze power that you have but what I really like as well is that you actually have a reward now for the events that you collect in Simulated Universe. So if you head on over, you'll actually see that there's a tab that has a collection of all the events that you've run into in your time in Simulated Universe. And you actually get Stellar Jades for each of these. And they do add up to quite a bit. If you collect all of these, you can get a total of over 700 Stellar Jade, which is almost half of a multi, which is really cool, especially if they do add more into the future. Especially if you've been grinding Simulated Universe hard in version 1.0, gonna be rewarded with a big chunk of stellar jades on this alone all in all i'm really happy with how version 1.1 has turned out so far for honkai star rail and i'm really looking forward to seeing what they do in future versions because the changes that they've made so far are really nice 
and I think they're only going to improve the game rather than hurt it. And only time will tell what else they have in store for us, but I'm definitely excited. But let me know what you guys are thinking of version 1.1. Are you happy with some of the changes that they made? And did you summon for Silver Wolf? I'm personally not going to be doing a full rotation on her banner. I might do one multi later on. But other than that, I'm definitely saving for version 1.2. But yeah, that's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.